All right, guys, while well, we're here at Silva again, and we're gonna be running some mulch today with my Peterbilt instead of the uh, company one. So we got two runs. We're gonna do one over to Wilmer and then one over to Mankato. So we're gonna go around and get loaded up right now. How about it with the flatbed though? Man, that really makes it look stretched out. So I just uh, pulled up here to Menards and she let me know that there's somebody in there right now So I just backed up out of the way here And we are gonna wait for them to come out and then she said she'll let me in All right, well, it looks like maybe that's the guy that we're waiting for here. Been sitting here now a good 45 minutes, I think maybe a little longer but Takes a minute sometimes I guess all right guys, well we just got some uh, direction on what to do here. It's been a minute since I've been to this one. So we're gonna go back here to the left. Park in the little square that they got for us and then get unstrapped. And then they'll come unload us. So we're gonna go find our little square here. Kinda look at people as I drive by to see if they reacted. Uh, let me know if I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I think I go all the way down here to the end though. I mean, if you guys can see in the camera, I don't know, but uh, I don't see a lumber shortage. I see all the shelves are full, so if you're overpaying for lumber, I would uh, give it a good little bit before you do any more purchasing there. It's unbelievable. The world we live in, man, it's a crazy one. It's a crazy one. All right, we're in the square here, it looks like, so I'm going to start unstrapping and get this one off so we can get back. Come on.
guys well we got checked in here and we got to pull into our lot or i showed you here when i was pulling up we're gonna let this guy go by all right so i'm just gonna pull off to the side and kind of pull up and then just back in pretty simple you can watch the backup cam i got going Alright guys, well we're on our last load for the day here. I had to take my tarp off because as you can see it is a full trailer. Today we're pulling the 48 foot so not quite as much room but we make her work. Got her all tightened down. So on these ones it's real common. You got to make sure you get these straps nice and tight because these mulch pallets will actually be like separated standing straight up so if you don't tighten them down real good then they're gonna when you turn or whatever they'll like come together and your strap will loosen up and then you're gonna have a loose pallet of mulch and then ain't gonna end so well for you so oh right, she's looking good we're gonna get on our way to Mankato we'll see you on the way all right boys well we stopped in and got some soup sushi and uh v8 so not really sure if any of those go together but i also had to get my fuel receipt because when i fueled up earlier today the lady had given me the wrong receipt the amount the person paid was how many gallons i put in so i knew that was wrong right away but anyways we're gonna get hit in the road i got the gopro on that side this time it has hardly any battery left so we'll see if we can get really any footage with it but we're gonna get heading out. boys well we made it we're gonna get her unstrapped here and they're gonna come over and get us unloaded and then we're gonna head back to South St. Paul pick up Maddie and then get ready to go again tomorrow morning so keeping her moving keeping that bank account filled up come on <laughs> 